What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What's up? Guys, what's up? Welcome to our first Leftovers discussion slash review video. Yes. Uh, we've been, we wanted to do this this series. This is a really cool series. It's in its last season. It's an HBO show, if you don't know that. Um, we're kind of a little bit late to the game here. We're going to uh, this this time around. What we're going to do is we're only going to do a discussion, kind of slash review situation here. Um, if you guys want a live reaction and stuff, we could talk about that. We'll see who wants what. But for right now, we're just doing discussions, and we're combining episode one and two because again, we were all we all we had to catch up on the last seasons. We had a you know a lot of things going on with other other videos we're working on. So. Bottom line is we're combining these two. Next week, this uh, third third episode of The Leftovers, we're going to just go back to normal, and it's going to be one episode every week. So having said that, uh, to end this disclaimer, we will be talking about episode one and two, obviously. Um, but we're probably going to not jump too much back and forth, but we're for the most part, we're going to – questions that were asked in episode one that were answered in episode two, we're probably just going to talk about it all at the same time. That's just so you guys know what's going on, so you don't feel like we're going all over the place. We're just combining these two reviews to get this video um, out to you as quickly as possible. So, having said that, all disclaimer. Guys, what do you think of, of so far these two episodes of season three? I liked them. <laughs> Pretty? It's very descriptive. Yeah. Very descriptive. I, I just liked them. They were, they were entertaining. Uh, they they had a lot of points that, it, that the second season didn't have. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the the whole premise of the first episode. And the second episode, we get back into the usual of following one person. You know, I like I liked I liked how it was basically because you know you have season one, you don't know what the hell's going on. You're you're meeting all the characters. Season two, completely in a different place, completely different. I actually enjoyed season one more than season. I'm sorry, season two more than season one. Yeah. And then this season is like interesting. So, um. Uh, you know, why don't we just? This is what happens in, in, in episode one. All right, I'll just read the description of it. Three years have passed since the GR, that's a guilty remnant, have invaded Miracle, uh, the town in which they all they're all residing. Kevin works as a cop again. Rumors rise that the seventh anniversary of the sudden departure will bring an apocalyptic catastrophe. So, we open up the the, the season and it's 14 days to the to the anniversary, which is August four. I'm sorry, October 14th, of the sudden departure. And people think that, you know, for some reason they're going to, you know, something, you know, catastrophic is going to happen, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. This The episode actually opens up back in the 1800s with a group of town folk following a false prophet, right? Mm-hmm. Um, wh- he says, uh, oh, the coming of Jesus, I believe it was, is supposed to happen this day. And, and then they all, what, they all get dressed up in white and they go up on the roof. and Yeah. I uh, think they were whole... thinking they're going to be departed then and there also. Well, it was supposed to be the coming of Jesus, right? Yeah. So it, the rapture. They were waiting yeah. for rapture. Well, which they're is, waiting for something, yeah. Right. Well, 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 it's the rapture. The rapture is supposed to be when Jesus comes and everyone is, is judged and then he takes – that's what the rapture is. That's what it's supposed to be. That's mm. what they're waiting for. That's what they thought this was, this sudden departure. So that's what they think that's it's going to happen again. So we're in the 1800s. We just see – you know, it doesn't happen over and over and over again. And so we finally see the, the like this last remaining woman – loses her family the townsfolk make fun of her you know because they think you know now she's 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 kind of crazy and even though she's following this thing that no one believes in anymore um at the end of that we see she lays down now i thought they were the guilty remnant and mike has a theory um which uh we'll get to i guess uh later on when we talk about some other stuff but he has a theory who these who these women really were um so we'll save that right mike until we get to it yeah um so, all right, so, I mean, what happens? I mean, in the beginning of this stuff, the very first we find out that uh, the guilty remnant who are residing inside that Taurus center, uh, we see that they were blown up from a drone strike. About time. I, <laughs> I know. Oh, my God, I know. That was. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of satisfying. So, to set this up, Chris had uh, or said, hey, do you guys want to do this? And Mike and I were like, sure, how many episodes? 20 episodes later <laughs> we finally get the drone strike i've been waiting for since the right. second episode <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah 
but that's it. But you got Meg Abbott, Liv Tyler's character, um, Evangeline, uh, you know, John's daughter. Like, they just dead. Like, what? Like, that was pretty crazy. There's a huge crater. Yeah. Um, and we see that Kevin's a, a cop again. He's like the head, you know, he's like, he's not, I guess, they're not a sheriff, but he's chief. The, the chief of police yeah. again, and his son Tom is now back, and he's got his. And life they're they're sleep. allowing anybody and their mother into yeah. Mayor, You know what I mean? And they're they're calling Much it Jarden different. again. They're not yeah. the original. The oh, town's original yes. was Jarden, so now they're calling it Jarden. But people are coming in as Miracle. Um, I just thought of something. Um, <laughs> John can now say if he wanted to, because the chief is more or less a sheriff, but the chief's like in inner city. Uh, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. Yeah, that's right. He can yep. say that. He can say that. Because <laughs> last season he, he shot, <laughs> he shot Kevin, and he came back. What a show's crazy, man. Can, can before we forget, can and you know Mike mentioned all the people in the town. Can we just talk about the huge um, blow up Gary Busey? <laughs> they're waiting for him to come back. Oh my God! Right. Oh, so what are these people creepy. waiting for? So. So they're waiting for them. They think they're going to come back. I think a lot of them think they're well, going to come back. Well, I guess everybody are confused, right? Some people believe that we it they're might be back. a second okay. departure, or maybe other people believe that people well, will they believe just Gary come Busey back alone is coming back now. Yeah, they think he's yeah. coming back. But don't forget, this is all perpetuated by Matt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and and we find out, we see he's be, you know he's preaching again, and you know he's got his congregation, and he uses his son, his his wife. Mary and their son Noah, who's two, to what two and a half at this point, three years old. Yeah, three years old. roughly. He's he keeps using them as examples of what the town of Miracle he still calls it Miracle can do, and so she she's she's fed up and decides she's gonna bounce, and they're gonna take the son, and and he's like, okay, well, okay, you know what I mean? There's like nothing he can do about it. So that's what that's where Matt is. Um, we find out that uh, John and Lori are married. And they're running this scam out of their house. It's the it's the I won't call the original a scam because uh, good old Eddie Winslow. Um, I forget the the actor's name, but the character played Eddie Winslow in Family Matters in the in the season. Two. Darius McRae, wasn't it? Da- yeah, right. uh, might have been. That was yeah. going, that's good. That's going off of a family family uh, watching reruns of Family Matters. I think I might be right on that. In his I name, think you right? might be right. right? Yeah. Darius McRae. We can check McCray. the we can check the IMDb on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't, don't worry, your fact checker's on it. <laughs> yeah, get on there while I talk. Um, so, but what's crazy is that, I mean, when he did it in season two, it was like a real thing. Like he had this gift. Um, Mike's but, right. You know, <laughs> good, nice man, good memory. I watched enough Family Matters. To that's he's know. a child. That's how you know Mike's a child of the '90s. So, yeah. Um, are we children? No, we're not children. We're children of the '80s, but we we're yeah. in a weird spot. Because... Yeah, we're. we're we we, we were, were born young, before it's... the eighties, grew up our first ten years in the eighties, and then we spent our next ten years in the nineties, and we were teens in the nineties. Anyway, point is, <laughs> John John and Lori are now married, and yeah. they're and so he's downstairs performing this this thing, this gift thing, and she's upstairs. He's got an earpiece in, and she's feeding him information. Pretty pretty crazy. Um, Kevin's fine with it. You know, like they're all kind I of still, fine with I mean, it. I, I took it I, from that. I took that they're still trying to do good. Yeah. Like I don't necessarily think it's. Um, I mean, it is a scam, but I think they there there there's some good behind. They feel they're they're doing a good deed. Just like giving just people like, closure. Yeah, just like in season two with Tom and the hug. You know, and and well, yeah, with that. You know dude, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. was it was the same kind of. It was the same kind of thing, but now she's using John as the vessel and not her son. Yeah, good point. You know what I mean? So, it's, I mean, but in in the end, it's still a scam. You know, just like mon- today in real life with the, with a lot of these psychics and all this bullshit. Yeah. Right. But everyone, I, I just enjoyed that everyone was like fine with it. Like it was like everyone's doing their it's, own weird thing it's now. It's three years, you know. Yeah. It's yeah, three it's like, years. It's, so it's we went from. Yeah. You know, we don't know what happened within those three years. Obviously, you know, there's been huge changes, you know, with with Kevin and with with Tom joining the force and everyone's, you know, everybody has a beard. uh, Yeah, well, everybody's got beards. Um, You know, Nora's Nora's back at the the Department of Sudden Departures. Yeah. 
you know she's back for the working at the DSD again and 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 what was the daughter? What was her name? Jill and Jill's away at college. Jill's yeah. in college. Yeah. So every it, I mean I I really enjoy because at first I was like three years I'm like oh no you know but then it's like oh shit I mean so everyone's doing their own different thing and um I don't know and then at the and then towards the middle I guess of the episode we get to see that it's Tom's birthday and everyone comes together and we see and then the only one that's actually missing is Lily. Um, she, we don't, you know, at first we don't know where she is, but we find out that in episode two, she's back with her mom, Christine, yeah. who, who left her on the floor of a fucking bathroom. She bridged the gap and then left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, so, so we see, so, so obviously Nora gave back and Nora has says, you know, in episode two, Nora gives, she's like, I, you know, she has this conversation with Tom. Nora, we'll get to Nora leaving the town in a minute, but when she does come back, um, and I know I'm jumping a little bit, but she has this conversation with Tom where um, she's like, I wish, I wish you never gave me the baby. And he's like, well, I didn't give it to you. I gave it to my dad yeah. because Tom yeah. was um, a foster kid uh, raised by Kevin and Lori. And... Um, no, I'm sorry. It was Lori's son, but his, you know, Kevin. Kevin was a stepdad, but he raised yeah. him at the age of since the age of three, and he's like, so he understands, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, so she tells she tells Tom, she's like, I gave her back, you know, like I, I she asked for the baby, and I gave the baby back. I didn't fight yeah. her. I didn't do anything like that. He, she's like, and Tom's like, well, yeah, but it's you can't keep going there, like, because she found the, you know, Christine was like, how did you know where we are? Like, what are you doing here, you know? Yeah. Um, so. Um, you know, well, she, episode... well, doesn't I'm sorry to cut you off, but which episode was it that we see? Because listen, I cram so much of these episodes in within like a week or so just to catch up. So it a lot of these things mesh with me. So yeah. I don't want to, you Let's know, clarify. Sound... Go ahead. Yeah. Cause... Um, because Kevin um, asks if Nora wants to have a baby. That's episode that two. was that was an episode two. So we also find out. And I know we're doing a lot of recapping here, but we're just kind of setting the stage, I guess, for what's going on and talking about it. So Kevin, yeah. we find out that Kevin um, asphyxiates himself. Yeah. Um, and we see it in the first episode. Before he goes to work, he does it. And I'm sure you guys were like, I was like, what? What, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then in the second episode, Nora catches him. Yeah. And he, and he rips it off and he explains that it's his coping mechanism. You know, and um, and Mikey, that's when he says, "We, you know, let's have a baby." Yeah. You know? Um, I believe that's also when she gets the phone call. She does get the phone yeah. call. We'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Okay. But see, we're reminding ourselves as we're talking, especially me. It's, yeah. Uh, so, Mikey, know. but what's your theory though about Mike has a theory? What's your theory see, about Kevin's? I mean, I think Jesse might have something similar too, but I I got the impression that he kills himself. Um. Like every day, yeah. Um, we we obviously know that there are people following him. That Matt's following him. That John's following him. That Michael's following. Him, they're writing a book about him, and they feel like he's like the Messiah. So, for me, um, is you know we don't we don't necessarily know for sure if he kills himself or, or like Chris was saying that maybe just when he um, maybe going out he rips it off. Um, and maybe well, he tells Nora that he tells Nora that, but that could be just bullshit, just not right, to yeah, freak no, Nora yeah, out any more than. So I had a cool little idea that maybe he's playing around in the, um, in the uh, limbo, in this, in this, in this, uh, in between uh, of of life and and death, or if it is death or hell or whatever this place is where. He killed Patty and all these things, not to get too too crazy into it, but it seemed like he kind of enjoyed being that assassin in this uh, world. So you know, so maybe he's meeting with people, maybe he's solving crimes in there. Who knows? But it's just kind of I kind of uh, have that idea that he kills himself every day, and it's not mm -hmm. just once. It's you know he's at the cusp of death and then he rips it off. Yeah, my theory yeah. kind of contradicts that. Uh, I think he only has a limited number of go to and come back uh he has four outfits in there the assassin the sheriff the priest and then i forget the other one but 
He has oh, four four outfits that. in there, and I think he can only yeah. go there and come back four times. And I think the last one is going to be the priest, which is he's the Messiah instead. Uh, I think we're probably going to get to see the next one. I forget what it is. I think it might be a construction worker. I don't remember. Or was it a bellhop? I think it might have been a bellhop. Anyways, not the that's point. Crazy, I think kind of crazy. that's yeah, going to be the be. next outfit. He's going to die okay. maybe in Australia or something like that. Spoilers for episode two. Uh, I think he's going to die there, come back, and then he has just one outfit left. Or he dies on 14 days. I don't know. Well, that's good. Okay, I, yeah, well, I could see that. Well, I mean, while we're on the subject, let's let's go back to what Mike said, how uh, you have Matt, John, and Michael, okay? John being obviously married to Lori now, his son Michael, who witnessed, who buried Kevin and witnessed him die. And then <laughs> you have Matt. Ever. So you have John who shot him and he died. Then you had Michael who buried, who watched him die. His grandfather killed him and then he buried him. Yeah. And then you have, they've told Matt, who already believes in the power of miracle because his wife came back basically back to life and had a baby yeah. so yeah. the three of them like mike said oh they're writing this book and the first episode as you can see down below is called the book of kevin because they think that basically he's he's the new savior and that he's basically immortal while in the town of mirror <laughs> <Yeah. Right. laughs> and you then know? And, you know, they give him the book what does he do with the book he so wants to what burn happens it is, so what happens he is he's it. like yeah he says give me the book and he's like this is the only copy so and he's like i'm pretty much up to date you know, I did like that line though, where he's like, "I'm not Jesus," and he's like, "Well, you have to admit the beard, the beard does look good." Yeah. You know, um, but the thing is, Kevin doesn't know. That's why he didn't destroy the book. Kevin doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I have a comment about that later on. I want to, I want to bring up. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah. I, so. You know, obviously we're we're kind of going all over the place with this, but it's all tied in because you know Jesse's Jesse's theory is, is kind of crazy. Mike, I, I do I agree because I I thought that at first too when I saw that I'm like, is he gonna kill himself and then come back yeah. to life? Is he is he testing it? That was my initial well, thought, but then I started thinking about the outfits. But, I mean, I never considered the outfits. And no, that's a cool thing, Jesse. But or to, can he play a different character anytime? Multiple I don't think. Times? Yeah, I don't think it's limited. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, know. I don't, I don't think know. it's limited. To be honest with you, I don't think it's limited because not only that, don't forget, he already died. He died in season two when he when he throws himself in the lake with the cinder block. Did he die or did the water go and then the water went the before water he could die? Before, so he yeah, didn't yeah. die. Before. He didn't okay. die. But the point is, but don't forget, that's when he started seeing Patty. After that, no, he started seeing Patty well before that. He started seeing her in Was it? episode uh, or season one. Remember his dad says, don't look around, and then he looks around, and she's right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. Before they moved, yeah. Yep, before they moved. Um, God, that was, oh, my God, season two, though. Um, uh, it sucks that it's ending, damn it. Well, at least we get to talk about it. Yeah, uh, yeah so, I mean, I mean, that's all that really, that, a lot of that was from season one and some from season two. Yeah. So, we, again, we, we got to see, you know, where, where everybody is and, and, and what's going on with these people. Uh, at the end of of episode one, we get to see this. Sarah. Set, oh, set. Wait, the uh, the, the girl in Australia. Yeah, Sarah. Her name is Sarah, um, and we find out that 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 the one character is Nora. No, Sarah is Nora. Nora is Sarah. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Though. That's what I'm saying. That that it's Nora, um, with a different name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. Yeah. But obviously, like, that's the future. Yeah, I got a good theory on that, too. But that's more or less after episode two. But, you know, it's interesting that, they, that they're taking it to Australia. Like, wow. Like, that's just interesting how they're going to bring it to Australia. Like, something so... All right. So, Random. Let's, yeah, let's jump into episode two proper here. Um, going into the beginning of episode two, we see the man on the pillar, whose name is Pillar Man, who has been up there uh, ever since the departure. Yep. And we meet his wife, who is played by the incomparable Brett Butler, okay? <laughs> and, um, you know, we find out that that man, you know, like, he didn't didn't eat, didn't, didn't, did, did, did he, you know, he ate up there, he shit up there, he did everything yeah. up there, it hasn't come down. He has a heart attack in the beginning of this episode, episode two, and, and he, and he passes, passes out, whatever, and he dies, hits the ground, dies. She, his wife goes to Matt and says, can you, can you not say that? 
that's what happened, can you say that he departed and they secretly buried him in like the backyard or something, you know? In the church, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it just it's just goes, you know, so then they're trying to again now it's like, you know what, thirteen days to the rapture or whatever. Yeah, it's it's yeah. closer than that, I think. Might be. I don't remember. Might be closer. Well where so do we see it written in the sky? We that was episode one. Written. Yeah, it's a four. When he's yeah. about to burn the book, they have it written up yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. And then it fades to Nora. Close. So yeah, I mean, so you have all these people that they're waiting, and, and and like you guys said too, like you don't, they don't know what they're waiting for. They don't know, you know. Some people think Gary Busey's coming back. Some people think that they're gonna get taken. Some people think that the loved ones are gonna come back. Like, why this? Why seven year anniversary is anything? Like, why why the number seven? Why you know what well, I mean? Well, as Matt said, seven is the holy number. Seven is. Christ's number, all that stuff, and that's why they're saying seven years, seven right, days. So that's why they think that yeah. seven years, right? It's it's, it's going to come about. So and and of course Matt's perpetuating all this. Oh, of know? course, you gotta love Chris Eccleston's character. Oh, he's amazing. Everybody yeah. on the show is so damn good, it, especially again, like all the other shows we watch. Like even though when you like like you hate them, like Lori, oh my god, I, she's so annoying. I but played really that well. I awesome. I said it. I think you guys might have saw it. Freaking Kevin Justin Thoreau could be the next Wolverine. Yeah, I, I can see that definitely. Yeah, I mean, come on. He'd have to bulk up a little more. He's he could have been. He could have been Rick Grimes. He could be a skinny, skinny Wolverine. I mean, there is a skinny Wolverine in certain comics. I think he'd be a cool Wolverine. Yeah, they he should would. make him Wolverine. Anyway, he's an amazing, amazing. You know that dude wrote uh, Ace Ventura: Pet Detective, right? Oh, wow. did he? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right guy's awesome man he's so cool anyway back to the story at hand yeah. so episode two mainly focuses on nora yeah and again back the fact that she's back with the dsd um we notice in episode one she's got a broken arm her left arm has a cast on it and um we find out in this episode she gets it off and uh what we find out is that she ended up breaking her own arm because <laughs> she wanted to hide a tattoo of the wu-tang clan which she got to hide the, the tattoo of the names of her children on her forearm. Yes, very random. Yeah, and and she tells and she tells um, I was gonna call her Regina. Uh, Regina King is the actress who plays John's wife, or now I guess a strange, a strange uh, wife. ex-wife. Yeah, ex-wife. Yeah, ex-wife. Um, well, I want to say her name was Carrie. Karen. Uh. Oh, anyways, uh, Erica. Uh, yeah, Erica. So, there we go. Yeah, her name was Erica. There so was Kay she... in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so. So Nora, Nora gets a crazy call, doesn't she? She gets a call from, and this is amazing because, I love how the scene opens up with the perfect strangers, theme, and I told you guys off camera earlier. My, my wife and I are watching it, and we're like, "What the? What song is that? Damn it!" I was like, "Our childhood." They changed the intro, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, so so Jesse, so I guess I guess you being a little bit younger than us, you didn't realize it was from a TV show from the from the. 80s, I have watched right? Perfect Strangers. I did not realize it was. Didn't from remember that yet. Perfect yeah, Strangers. I, I knew it was. I used to I, love that show. Right, dude. It was. Oh my god, <laughs> Balky Bartakamus. <laughs> so I just jammed it, and I was like, "Yes, it's Perfect Strangers." And then it turns out, so we found out. Was it last season or in season one? Was it season one? Uh, season, season one. one we, yeah, Mark we find out that everybody um which is great because they probably had this whole plan right uh mark lynn baker who plays uh cousin larry because larry yeah cousin larry yeah. cousin cousin larry um the whole is a the four out of the four cast members the the, the two men and the two and the two women who played their wives He's on the news so, right or something it yeah like what a... happened was they they the three of them departed so bronson uh, bronson pincho and the two women who played their wives all all departed and left him yeah. and he felt like he was left out like they you know what i mean and so, so he fakes his own yeah you know departure own, by hiding out in in uh mexico, mexico. I think it was mexico said, yeah right? but we see him again in, in in season three you know contacting contacting nora i love how he just throws the you know four hundred dollar or so phone in the toilet and nora just says hey <laughs> yeah, she don't care because she's she's kind of she's kind of like rich, yeah. Kevin, but well, no, I wouldn't say rich. I just I feel like she's like Kevin. She, like, she bought a three million Kevin. dollar dump. <laughs> yeah, well, she just was able to uh, to afford yeah, that because they true. gave her so much money for her home. So oh yeah, but true. regardless, 
Yeah. But I mean, so what? What is Mark? Mark Lindbergh is working for a company. So Mark right? Lindbergh calls her and he tells her, "Do you want to see your kids again?" So she's now again. Okay, again, she works for the company that's supposed to defraud these yeah. claims of of whatever people departing, not departing at the. So apparently there's this company that Mark Lynn Baker is a, um, a spokesperson for at this point. I think he said he did it or something. Didn't he say he did it? No, 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 no. Uh, well, he, he knows people. So he, so he he's has seen he people gives, do it, yeah. Gives This company is claiming that they've created a way to send people on this plane, right, in reality, to where the people are departed to where they departed that, that that they can send them there um and i'm waiting for the catch like oh and then they bring you back or whatever but they didn't i don't he didn't say that he, he just didn't say that, that at all no he says they can send you there and then that and whatever so um you know oh, she, she's i think she's okay with that well you know, you know because she, it shows you know it shows that how much she still loves her family well that was the whole point she got the tattoo of her kids her children names her, her children's yeah. names and she's like and then she couldn't to deal forget. with it because, yeah you know she's like then then i realized i don't want that i don't want people asking me you know about that is and she has to say oh these are my children you know yeah. so then she got it covered up and then she realized that she got this really stupid tattoo not that i mean wu-tang clan i love that logo but the point is is that you know, so anyway, the point is she goes and, you know, she, yeah, she's like you said, she's, she's skeptical, but she also wants to believe it, yeah. you know, desperately. So she, she, I mean, she kind of actually at this point really has no choice to go along with it. He gives her a, a, like a thumb drive of testimonials and it's people holding up the newspaper saying, I'm so-and-so, I'm sound mind and body and this and I'm going to do this or whatever. But what got me about those testimonials is like, you're just seeing people doing that yeah. before before the the actual act. Why are there no video? Why is there no video or documentation that, exactly. that of where they not okay? If they went someplace and didn't come back, obviously you can't know. But you know what I'm saying? And and she's sitting here going, you know what? She's like, this isn't real. They were fucking vaporized. She doesn't believe it. Like she, you know, she's smarter than that. Plus, I know she wants to believe it, but. I, I mean, she I got a theory on that. <laughs> well, tell us. All right, so at the end, we get to see, you know, her and Kevin are going to Australia. And uh, I have the theory that maybe she does go through it. And maybe, just maybe, the Australia we see her in is the Australia on the other side. It's true. Yep, I Could thought be. about that. I thought about the whole, because... There's a couple of things that that make me think that that might be the situation. That it might be this alternate dimension. One, they're using birds for communication. They're using birds for communication, which, which doesn't necessarily mean anything because if it's the outback, like Australia is a ginormous continent. You know what I mean? Um, there's not, you know, there's got, there's gonna be like, like a parts of this country where you're just not gonna get cell phones or whatever. Um, or if but, it's after the 14th, then who knows what happens to right, the world? So that there could be true their yeah. catastrophic event so that's the whole thing we don't know yeah. plus plus we find out at the end at the end of the episode and again i apologize for us jumping around but the conversation is leading us there and we are combining everything these three women 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 take the chief of police of this one town in australia his name is kevin and they're convinced well the one woman is anyway is convinced that it's the Kevin, it's the savior. He's the the, the, the one from Miracle, the one from. And they go to kill him. <laughs> and they. And you so can she, come back, they, Kevin. So they yeah. they to test it, they drown him, and he dies and doesn't come back. And she's like, I really thought this was, you know. So so, your your idea of the fact that it might be an alternate, that might be something. There might be something to it because, I'm watching that with that guy Kevin and and. You I know, don't think he, that was in the alternate dimension or whatever it is. Because no, but why not though? Because this is what I'm thinking. Because because that, that, old Kevin is there, you know. But that's not Kevin though. No, no, Father Kevin, Kevin Senior. Right, but that's my point. So, so, so either that was just a case of mistaken identity, right? Yeah. Oh, it totally was. They were expecting so, Kevin to be to to be drowned, the Kevin that we know, you know, and come back. 
That's yeah. why after they drowned him, the one girl was like, what if it's not? What if it's not the right Kevin? What if it's not the right Kevin? And that one, the one woman just kept saying, well, it is, it is, it is. And obviously when he comes up, the guy is dead and they're smacking him saying, wake up, wake up, wake up. And he, and he doesn't. And that's when we see, old, you know, Kevin's father run out of the cabin. The weird thing about that for me, though, is that was Australian Kevin's house. So what was Kevin's, our Kevin, dad doing there like it was his it was the police chief that they yeah. killed's house yeah and Kevin. right and <laughs> who knows yeah so right. that's strange to me you guys have any ideas about well, that so saying, or what not, he was I, doing there? i don't yeah i don't think it's completely unreasonable to think that it could be that yeah. like you don't know because the da- you don't know what the dad that's all thing we again it, we don't know what's the, the coming attractions for the third episode are just insane because it takes place, I guess, mostly in Australia, and it's got to do with the dad, and there's some dude sets himself on fire. Like it's just like, what the hell is happening? Well, remember what back when about? when Kevin was in the the limbo and the upside down kind of a thing. He remember when he saw his dad uh, through the, the TV, television talking to his him. His dad was in Australia, right? Then, so I think that that is, is it a wormhole? reality. Is it a damn wormhole? Like, well, what the it hell? Could is be. It? They they use some kind of voodoo magic or something to communicate with, with Kevin. You know what I mean? It's so, just it's yeah. So I mean, what the hell is it? It's Wait, weird. now w- let me throw this wrench on you. I throw it. Let me throw this at your ankles. Nora's having electrical issues. Yeah. Shit's not working for her. Why? Maybe Dude, the radiation I'm you, coming off lost, her. This is lost for me all over again. You're just like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, uh, no, it is. These, those are questions that, yeah. that will, you know, well, you we'll, get, we'll get the answer to soon. Um, probably, probably rather, rather quick. I don't but... see how they're going to wrap it up in you know the remaining six episodes. I, that's why it's, I think it's going to be good because we're going to get these answers quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm still curious why Mary was over there with Kevin if she wasn't really dead. You know, the guy was delivering the balloons and stuff to her. Wait, what? S- second season when Kevin was in limbo or whatever. Right. Mary was over there. Remember she got the flowers delivered to her. How did she come back? We don't know what that is. We don't know what that is, man. We don't know. Maybe there's this copies of the damn Matrix. We don't know, man. <laughs> was that really death? Did he die? Like, what is this? Well, he died. We know he died because the second time he went there, he was shot to death. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, guys, what if this ends up not being what we think it is? What if it be, what what if it ends Most up like being a reality? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, what if it's like a it's a, it's a reality that is not our reality? But in this reality, this is what happens. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know because I may just be thinking too much into it. But like, like that's death. Like, you go to a hotel and then you play some. Well, uh, that's why I don't. I don't think it's. I don't. I don't think it's necessarily death. It's like a tragic end. Yeah, Where like did he limbo go? and stuff. It's like a that. limbo. It's not heaven so, or hell. No, so purgatory. Purgatory. Yeah. yeah. You know, look at. You know, and that's why. I, that's why I kind of think that every day, he does kill himself, and he may visit. You know, he likes to visit this or. I'm um, still sick on my limited number of times theory. I see. I don't think it's. I, I mean, I think it's a cool idea what you said with the different uniforms. That it's like a video game where he can go in there and play different. Ca- you you can select the cop. You can select the assassin. You Perfect select- example: Hitman series. I mean, you kill someone as the cop outfit. You can't use the cop outfit anymore. You got to go to a different one. So he's right, completed yeah. the mission as the cop. He can't use it. Could be. So I mean, he has to go on to be. another one. And what but about regardless. his dad? Why does dad? How did, How and why did the dad come through the damn TV? We still don't know because people what are really talking to him still. Yeah. So wait, but is he contacting? So is the dad able to contact the dead? Like you were saying, Mike, it's some type of voodoo thing. Will we it learn is. that in this episode? Because we saw with the fire. Remember, keep that fire burning, and that's that. And as as long as that fire was burning in the background, he was remember able to he's still just doing what the voices tell him to, though. He but, said that he listens does his, to them. But is 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 the dad then? Is the dad connected to that other side? And is the fire like Harry Potter, where you can talk to people through it, when your face comes out like Sirius Black did? Yeah, you know it's what some I'm kind of Harry. So, yeah, <laughs> it's some kind of in between where he can communicate. It's like the telephone to the other side. Yeah, 
it's yeah, just, no, it's, yeah, it's just. It's interesting. It really, it's really, it's 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 a it's it's done. I think the show's done so well. Um, I, I have a couple of commentary items I just wanted to like briefly talk about because I think, I think we basically covered everything. Yeah. That we want to talk about, and I'm sure you, if you guys are watching the show, I'm sure you guys will tell us what we missed or bring up some other stuff. But, um, I mean, I, you guys threw out threw out some theories in there, and um, I just I, I don't know. I think this show is, generally speaking. It's an it's it, it to show itself as a commentary on religion and people's belief systems. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's how you're gonna deal with it. You know, look at look at it from season one how people. It's it's very it's very similar to a lot of a lot of other shows. Once you're put into a certain setting, apocalyptic or not, it could be anything. How how will would you change? Which way will you change? And that's why you always had the people, just like the Guilty Remnant. They wanted people not to forget. And then there were people that, like Nora, that wanted to forget. And, you know, it's it's just how you deal with things. That's what's interesting about this, because we still don't know exact if it's a religious thing, if the departure was a religion. We still don't exactly know. The, the show gives us, a, you know, little hints. Or, or are they hints? Are they just how that particular person is dealing with it? Look at Matt. You know what I mean? We we go from season one where no one believed in God anymore. He wasn't even being he wasn't able to baptize any children anymore. No right. one was going to church. He loses his church. To um, now season three, he has a packed house. Yeah. You know. And well, it changed so the scenery also. Yeah, true. Well, but but the world has changed, and he's seen these miracles from the forefront by his wife, obviously, by the son being Kevin, born, by seeing Kevin. Mm -hmm. Michael has seen it with Kevin. Yep. You know, Kevin's seen it himself. John's like, seen it, it, you know, yeah. yeah. So, you know. So there's is, definitely a faith that there's a, now, there's, and that's my yeah. whole point. Like there's a, there's a, there's a faith now and, 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 and they see this. It's, it's, it's legit happened to these Yeah, people. there's truth behind, you know, that, what they're seeing. Which is, you, you know, know, which honestly, I don't blame them for writing a book, the book of Kevin, because look what happened. You believed in a, you believed in a, in a god, and people left. Yeah. No explanation, nothing, leaving you empty, right? Leaving you with something to believe. And then this happens, and it's very similar to some to some mm. other thing that you believed in, i.e., Jesus, right? And his yeah. and his um, second coming, and whatever the whatever his his rise from the death, and all this. So of course they're gonna make the correlations because it's something they don't know. But what but what's interesting is, and speaking of Kevin, um, and and every and even everyone else in there is that, the show I like how the show is showing, that, unless you take what you've learned and, experience and make it part of yourself, and change it and use it to change your life and your and your and your own self, you know that we that. We, people just fall back into their old habits and back into the daily grind, regardless of the miraculous things that have happened to them. So yeah. for Kevin, for example, the dude died twice, did all this shit while dead, pushed a girl into a well, killed Patty, did all yeah. this shit, saw his dad in the TV, comes back to life, right? And now he died it's twice like... within a 24 hour period of that. Exactly. <laughs> it's just, I, I feel like it's like. It's just kind of crazy how it's like because that's that's like what happens though. That's what happens. Like think about it. you if you jump out of a plane, you go skydiving and then on the weekend and then on Monday you're back at work. But you did this amazing crazy death-defying thing yeah. and then now you're back at work. And I and, and I just I just really like the dichotomy of like he's this dude is basically immortal. And he's now he's just he's back well, to work doing the thing, but well, he let's... doesn't think about it, you know? But Let's then again, if... like you said, the no, asphyxiation, that might be yeah. a way to, I don't, we don't know yet. I mean, you know, I, I tend to believe that he, that it's his coping mechanism, but I still don't think it's exactly as he says, like you said. My big thing is I'm wondering if, if now we see Kevin leave with Nora to Australia, because we didn't technically see them leave yet, um, or them be there together. Well, wait, did we mention that? What happens? So, so, so Nora yeah. gets this phone call. Yeah. Mark Marklin Baker gives her throws her phone away, gives her a, a cell phone, like mm -hmm. a burner, and says, "They're gonna call you, so be ready." She comes in, sees him doing this thing with the bag. He takes it off. He's like, "It's just my coping mechanism." And she's like, 
I, I, I'm fine with it. Trust yeah. me. Trust me. I've I've got my own. I got right. a tattoo. Yeah. She shows him the tattoo, right? And then she says, and that's when he says, you know, let's have a baby. And she's laughing. And then the yeah. phone rings. And it's these people that say, come to us. Can you be in Australia by like Saturday or whatever? Bring twenty thousand within a couple of days. Yeah, yeah so couple with like ten thousand dollars. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I can. And she says, I have to go to Australia. And he says, can I come? And she's like, yeah. And I and I like that. I really like that she was like, yes. Because at first she was kind of like lying. Yeah, yeah. you know. She was lying. She said it was work. but Their relationship, it, well, it is. It is, though, because she wants to actually, she either wants to go and expose it as a fraud or she wants to do it. Yeah, so one of the two. So she's got, she's not, she's not, not doing her job. She's going to go do her job and try and debunk it. But I really enjoy their because it's not I'm sure they kind of love each other but love right now is that's like the the that's like the that's like a superficial thing with them it's not even like a real thing like yeah they love each other but it's something else between them they're these two souls these two people that yeah. are connected through tragedy and and they understand each other in a way that that nobody else understands each other and yet they don't really understand each other they're keeping shit from each other they I just don't know why just uh, Part of me is like, why the hell are you two even together? Right? But then yeah. Yeah. they are. And I really like that they are. And I just like that it's fucking weird and stupid. Yeah. And you know what I mean? This show is just weird, stupid, and all kinds of fun wrapped into it's one. It's such a great show. And I'm, and I'm just, I'm really excited that at least we get, you know, that we're watching it. And, and, and I, just, I just can't wait to see what happens. I'm telling you, for me, it's lost all over again. And I didn't have to wait seven fucking seasons for it. Yeah, I mean they you know. could go one more season, but they're wrapping it up kind of neatly, it seems. Well, we'll see. I, it better, God damn it, it better not end in a way that's like, wait, what? Like they, it better not they, end with him waking up in a hospital bed. Yeah, I don't think we'll get that. And he's Rick Grimes. Oh yeah. my god, that'd be amazing. He could have. He could have been oh. a Rick Grimes. Oh. Yeah, seriously. With so many beard, similarities you know? there. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, I, I kind of like how sometimes shows just don't push the – just keep going just for the sake of going. I like how there is a beginning, a, a true beginning, all the all the conflict and everything in the middle, and then just a, a legitimate ending at their terms. Because, like, just you know, this show I'm sure could go longer than yeah. – three seasons is short. Yeah, compared yeah. to shows of today, yeah. You Very know what I mean? Especially for a show that, you know, I don't know what the ratings are really because before a few weeks ago I really – never even watched the show you know so um i'm not sure but it is an hbo series and i'm sure it does well but i don't think they're necessarily ending it because it's not doing well right no no it's 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 this was already proposed like they they you know they were like boom let's do it yeah we're doing this you know i mean it is it is and it that is pretty damn short i mean even the new battlestar galactic i still call it the new battlestar galactic because the most recent one from 2000 Mm middle 2000s that was only four seasons too you know what i mean and it was like but they but it was great because they wrapped it up you know you know what i mean and it was like you want more but it's like you know what they have to end it and that's... yeah i mean we get these like giant epics like game of thrones or breaking bad or walking dead they're on and that's what happens they? yeah you know and think about it too this story I don't want it to go for five, six seasons. I want to know what happens. Exactly. Like I don't want because if you mm-hmm. you can't you can't you know give um like you, you can't if you're going to spread it out you can't answer questions. You're going to have to spread them out over those seasons, and it's like Absolutely. that's dumb. It's annoying. It's like well now I'm not going to find out what happened. Oh, I kind of found out what happened. Now we got to wait for the next season. It's like yeah, I don't know, whatever point is three seasons sucks that it's that short but it, it doesn't suck because it's a great show and we can always go back and watch it and and then we can write our fan fiction so that's fine that's fine <laughs> god dang it i think i think uh anything else guys any any last thoughts before uh, we wrap this up? Uh, my last thing was a little theory was when they were when the the women were dunking australian chief kevin um, to me, these women look very similar to these women that were from the 1800s women. So, 
The how... women that, now be specific, the women at the end of that section where she that goes and the, lays down with them inside the that church. The prophet women, yeah, the, the Quaker-looking women, the pilgrim-looking They were women. all laying down. Yeah. They weren't dead, were they? No, they were just laying down. It was like laying down, sleeping yeah. in the, the day or something. Yeah, so I the just... Champion and they laid down. Yeah. They took something. So I don't know if they're if how they're going to tie into this. But for whatever reason, they have this knowledge about this Kevin, this chief, you know, that um, obviously and apparently can can, you know, bridge the gap of life and death. Right, some, and yeah, back. Some, yeah. So to me, I kind of I mean, I really think that it's these women. Are they witches? What kind of powers do they have? What do they know? I went um, back and looked and they do look a little similar. I will give you it, that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with those are the same women that somehow. Same okay, yeah, I don't know. I mean, at first I was really adamant. Later, I was like, no, yeah. but yeah. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they are. I still want to know what. Again, we still don't know what's up, but yeah. maybe we'll get a little more in the next episode because we're gonna yeah. see, you know, Kevin Senior, right? Kevin yeah, Kevin Senior, Senior. crazy Kevin we're number one. See, yeah, we're gonna see Kevin Senior in Australia, and and then I think Nora and we'll stick. And you and you are gonna head over there, so. Or Stick. Let's just call him Stick from that one. If you guys don't know, he plays a character named Stick in the Daredevil on the Netflix Marvel Daredevil show, which is phenomenal and you should watch. Um, anyway, yeah, so lots of things going on, guys. This is only, this is only one of the first two episodes. Again, uh, we apologize that we had to combine these. We apologize for us being late if you wanted us to do it. We've done it. Episodes one and two we threw together. We kind of mixed it all up. I, I don't think we jumped around too much, but hopefully it's no. cohesive. Please let us know if there's anything we forgot. Please let us know your theories. Let us know what you think of the show. Let us know if you binge watch the first two seasons knowing that this was the last season and you were like, hey, I just got HBO now. I'm going to binge watch this whole thing and then I'm going to watch the season <laughs> when it comes out. <laughs> so uh, just let us all let us know all those things. That's right. Don't forget to reach us on all the social medias as well, on YouTube, on iTunes. Uh, check us out at Third Person Pod. Don't forget to leave a review there on the iTunes if you do like what you're listening to. Um, also, Instagram, we're on there, Facebook. Leave us some comments. We love answering all those kind of questions from you guys, especially with this, because just like Chris said, we kind of did jump around a little bit. Let us know what you think of our theories um, from from this, uh, this episode, this collaboration of of season three one and two episode uh just just let us know what's uh what you think what up let's know what's up yep yep and uh as always we have comic blitz right down there below me and you know we have these new guys that are uh that are our videos you know our new videos coming out our game of thrones houses videos but uh yeah yeah comic blitz that that thing down there third person pod Promo code, three months, three bucks. There you go. Do it. It's going to do it for us here. Yep. Uh, so, sorry again if this is a little bit longer than normal, but uh, we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled program next week <laughs> uh, when, we, when we get All back right there, FCC. So, <laughs> uh, so if you, if, 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 don't forget to go check out our uh, Badlands videos and it's uh, finished up of our Walking Dead coverage and stuff like that. And uh, nice. like you said, Game of Thrones videos. He's got houses. We started our houses series. Go check out Jesse's uh, series there and then we're going to be doing some more game of thrones videos as we uh lead up to the premiere in july so um yeah just stick around and uh, once again thank you very much guys we appreciate it we love you guys and we'll see you on the next video so peace out peace